I'm screaming. What is that? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute, but I've literally not gotten the time to do much. I've been making reels most of the time, so if I don't upload a YouTube video and you solely know me from YouTube, um, if that's the case, uh, I always upload on Instagram reels. So yeah, you can check that out if you're interested. But for the most part, I'm going to try my best to at least upload once a week, which is my usual schedule every Sunday. But enough rambling, let's get on the video. I'm going to be recreating Hannah Ovo's uh, iconic makeup. Um, I think she's so pretty and part of the whole eagle revolution, I, I suppose. But she is super pretty and she has her own unique style of makeup which I'm going to be following in today's video. So yeah, I, I've been wanting to do this for a while but because I didn't get the time, I didn't, I put it off. But yeah, I will be recreating the makeup of today. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. My phone down, I'll be briefly watching her video. Um, I've already done my foundation because she doesn't do foundation. So I've done like a very thin layer of the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Foundation and this, my shade is in Warm Age. I love this foundation. I think like it's very skin-like so I think it will like finesse well with the rest of the look. First thing that I use, CoverGirl Neutralizer Stick Concealer. Okay, so she's doing concealer first. Um, she's using a stick concealer. I won't be using stick concealer. I'll be using a liquid one just a bit. I'm just gonna kind of apply this all over my face. So she put it underneath and above her eyes and wherever she required it. Um, she has gorgeous skin. She's so pretty. Like, hello. I'm just gonna put a bit on my nose. Yes, I blend it out with my fingers. She uses her fingers. Oh my gosh. So, I'm gonna use my fingers as well. I do this often, but really not in a mood to. But we want to look exactly like her, so we have to use her tools. Her technique, I believe. Not trick. Using your fingers does retain the coverage for the most part. A little too much. I'm using my I'm gonna use my beauty blender to just like take off some coverage to absorb some of that excess product. I know I cheated a bit, but what you gonna do? Hmm? So I use the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette, uh, and I just use some of these pinky reds up there. Now she's being blush. She's using eyeshadow so I'm using this 35B palette and using like this kind of section. Um, I've done this before so I know this works. So I'm gonna briefly like just pick up a bunch of the this and just stamping it here. Press that in, pop it in at first. And then do circular motions to blend it out. Okay, she's doing that. So she says dab, dab. But she puts it here. She does a little tapping motion. And then circular to blend it out. You're kind of like a crazy person, but. And she puts a good amount on her nose. And. She her over her lips and below her lips. So I did that. She didn't set her concealer yet. So I've not done that. She's a bit weird, not gonna lie. Now that we look like Rudolph, we're gonna blend it out so that we do not look like Rudolph. <laughs> so she's using her fingers to blend. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna powder my face. My T 
t-zone and where i know i did the most oily i'm gonna tap it in and then i'm just gonna do the circle motions and blend it out where i'm not as oily okay now she uses a fluffy brush i don't usually contour my cheeks but i do like to contour my nose a little bit and she doesn't contour her cheeks but I need that because I'm not gifted with such a bold structure. I'm trying to look like her, so I'm just going to contour the tops of my cheeks. I don't know why I just developed a bit of an accent, but yeah. I don't miss doing this talking to the camera like a crazy person. Where has that accent come from? I promise I'm not doing that on purpose. I don't know what's with my mouth today. What that mom do? Fake an accent. <laughs> I'm such a bad joke. So here she contours her nose. Let's see her technique. Let's follow that. I would love to have an itty bitty, not really itty bitty, but like a seam snatched nose, I believe. Try and find the line that's up here and I'm just gonna follow it because I do have a more naturally bulbous nose. The NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk White Eyeliner. And I'll go on the side of my nose. And after I've blended that out, it kind of looks like this. I'm gonna add some more. She uses white eyeliner as like concealer to clean, clean up the this, but I'm gonna take like a lighter concealer and do the same thing. Uh -oh. I'm screaming. What is that? That is something for sure. I'm using my the back side to kind of blend it. I don't think I'm doing this right, but. Uh, I know she skipped this, but I'm screaming, so I'm gonna highlight her anyways on my nose to make it look kind of ashy. For freckles, because I do not have natural freckles, but we're gonna use a Crayola marker. She's doing freckles. She's using a Crayola marker. I am not gonna do that. I'll use one of my lip pencils instead. Doing this motion to kind of give some freckles. After I, I put it down, I do try to blend it out a little bit. She uses a finger, but I'm going to use my sponge to kind of lighten them up a bit. That's cute, I guess. Kind of larger freckles, but... Well, I'm going to do the brows. Yeah, now she's doing brows. I'm going to do my brows as well. I'm just going to take my angle brush, which is actually a, a paintbrush, and I go into these lighter brown shades, and I just go in, and I start in the middle of my brow, and this has some leftovers that are very dark. I'm using the um, L'Oreal one. Oh, I did my nails. But yeah, I'm using this L'Oreal one. I'm going to fill it like straight. And I'm not filling the arch. I tried. We covered with our hair. 
gonna add a little more blush. I usually go in and I'll add like makeup over top the makeup I already put down because I don't think it's like opaque enough. <laughs> so she adds more blush. Okay. She uses her contour shades. Uh, from the palette. And I'll put them just under my eye. I use the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner, but they were out of it at the store. Okay, so she outlines the outer part of the eye. I will take the line right here. And I'll draw that line up. I'm using the Epic Ink Liner that she suggested. And then we're gonna drag it towards your eye. To repeat the process, this liner on this eye. So I did the liner. I cleaned it up a bit, but now let's watch the rest of the tutorial. I'm gonna be taking the same eyeliner, and I'm gonna be drawing my bottom lashes. Cause okay. Now she draws lashes. Gonna draw. This white eyeliner stick that we were using before. This white liner. You're gonna put it on the waterline. <laughs> Don't extend it past your eye, like just where your eye ends. Just put some white eyeliner. Now I'm going to put on mascara. And she applies mascara. I'm doing that. I'm gonna coat my top and bottom lashes with mascara like so what I do is I will take some of this uh, with the angle brush that I use for my brows I'll go a little above where my cupid's bow is and I'll just try to round it out like so and I'll put a little bit on the bottom of my lips too just overlining the tiniest bit at the tippy top I'm going to just use my lip liner because I'm not paid enough for this. I'm just taking a natural lipstick and applying that. I'm just going to set my face. That's my updated e-girl makeup tutorial. You know, I think it's not bad. I just, if I had that a nose more like hers this would be more convincing but I take some pictures and you can see how it looks and I'm sorry if this wasn't convincing enough but yeah I tried my best thank you so much for watching subscribe see you in my next video bye bye